What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm bringing you the crushing hand gorilla jaguar centipede build. It's kind of insane and pretty fun. It rem like reminds me a lot of the monk from Diablo 3. This is a very, very fast build as you guys saw in the preview there, as well as very, very strong against bosses. Now, if you really get the pattern down, it can be pretty fast. It's not going to be as fast as the evade build, even though that's getting nerfed tomorrow. But this build is really, really fun. So if you did enjoy the evade build and you don't want to deal with whatever nerfs are going to be coming tomorrow, then this is definitely the build for you. So I'm going to go over everything, guys. Skills, gear, paragon, all that stuff. And of course, a showcase right here at the end. So let's go ahead and break this down. So let's go ahead and get into skills first. All right, the skills are pretty straightforward. I think the kind of meta for a lot of these uh, Spearborn builds, you're going to see a lot of these same skills through a lot of different build guys. And it just seems like, you know, we're back into that same thing where some stuff's going to be the same and we only got a couple different things. So your main skill here, it does not matter. This can be anything. It do it really doesn't matter. We could, It doesn't matter what these two are at all. <clears throat> does not matter. It's irrelevant. It doesn't. It does not deal any damage. Uh, however, but we do want the block chance there. So uh, the increase in block chance is very, very important. So we'll just take those. Even though we're not actively using that, but that's what we're going to do. We don't even have a basic on the skill bar. So crushing hand. This is our big dog. We're going to be smashing down, creating shock waves, which I think is really, really cool. It grants a barrier as well as we do increase damage based on our resolve stacks. So the more resolve that we have, the more armor that we have, the more damage that we're going to deal in this build. Okay, so it all evolves around resolve stacking. Next, we got Vigorous, and then we got Balanced Exertion for more damage. Then we're going to come down and we're going to grab Points of Mirage for increased dodge when we ever, we, whenever we evade, which is actually going to be when we teleport. Then we got un, uh, Unrestrained Power, so increased damage while we're unhindered or unstoppable, which should happen a lot when we teleport. Uh, then Vocal Point going into apex for even more damage against vulnerable enemies this doubles against elites very important then we're going to come down and we're going to take endurance for uh casting a defensive skill gives us vigor which we have three of them here and then we got perseverance so we gain additional damage per stack of resolve this is maxed this is huge then of course we got armored hide we gain two resolve for every five seconds encasing ourselves and also becoming unstoppable for 4.2 seconds this increases thorns as well as our block damage reduction okay for every nearby enemy uh we're going to be taking counter attack this is really just to give us a huge boost in dodge as well as uh increase in critical strike damage for every close enemy we're going to be up close and personal we're just going to be dashing from enemy to enemy so we're not doing any range whatsoever next we got scourge this seems to be just like a a home run ability so we're going to make everybody have some poison damage over time we're going to do some crowd control to them and scourge is just really going to help us just kind of maintain and get some life back which i think is very important then we're doing resilience for even more max life then we got dominant for even more um damage against knockdown enemies which i think is really cool um and we have a chance to execute this is really just an extra point here just for the off chance that it happens we max out potent. It really seems that like potent is probably one of the strongest passives in the game. So we got uh, potent here for increased damage with Jaguar skills, which all of ours are. And then we got furnace for even more critical strike damage per stack of ferocity. We're taking a point in ravenous to, uh, to deal increased damage against healthy enemies. And then we got one point in oppressive for centipede skills to deal 4% increased damage against crowd control and reduce crowd control or and increase crowd control durations. <clears throat> next we are coming down here we're going to take resolution to grant stacks for even more damage <clears throat> spiritual attunement for even more vigor as well as supremacy for even more damage so really we're going to add this back here and then our key passive is prodigy's tempo for every time we do a third uh basic skill increases our ranks and then third cons uh, consecutive cast reduces skill active cooldowns which you'll see these will get reset pretty often so that's what we have right now guys i mean really you could take another point but we want the two resolve every second this build is very very fun it's very straightforward all we're going to be doing is just popping all four of these non-stop or these five and just holding down crushing hand it's pretty straightforward 
Into our spear hole, we're doing Jaguar first. Every 15th time we deal direct damage to an enemy with a Jaguar skill, we get an additional strike, which is great. And then our second is going to be Centipede. Heal for every 1% of maximum life for every nearby enemy you've poisoned, which is where Scourge is going to come in. So this is one big thing to help keep us alive. Eventually, we'll probably go to Gorilla like at some point, but this is just an entry level into this because what's great now going into our gear pieces is this doesn't require any uniques whatsoever for it to be incredibly powerful. Um, however, the one negative here is that it does build off the Rod of Kep with the, the combination of the Midnight Thank Sun. You. This is an Sweet ongoing sky. thing, which I think is is really, really good. So we already get the counterattack passive, which I think is really cool from, from the Rod. Um, but it's still just like... We can do the activated part, which is what's going to give it to us. The 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 dodge is the the passive is the dodge chance. The active is the critical strike, which is why it's on the bar. But you need these two for the build. Now, outside of those two, because you guys pretty know how, how these work, your core skills are now basics, and they do additional damage. Okay, and then uh, the midnight sun helps us get critical uh, strike to regain our vigor, which is why our vigor is always high. Next, the other unique that you need for this build is Yen's blessing. Okay, casting a skill has a 40% chance to cast a non-mobility, non-ultimate skill uh, that is currently in his cooldown. I wish I had better Yens. I just don't. I'm pretty fast with the GA that has on it, which I think is awesome. I just don't have a really good Yens, uh, unfortunately. So it's just like, dang. I just don't have another one. So hopefully we find another one so we get a better power because 60% chance is huge. Also, the increase in the uh, all res is very important. We're in World Tier 4. And our reses are down, but um, once we, like, master work stuff and upgrade and all that stuff, we'll be fine. We don't, like, right now, you're going to see me do a, a tier 4 at a 65 pit, and we don't have anything master worked. We don't have anything tempered, nothing, and the build still slaps. So the last piece of gear is the Harmony of, uh, was that, the Harmony of Ebb. So this is really for damage reduction and just dealing overall increased damage. So this is fine. Eventually, you can go up to like Shaco, or if you want, you can swap this out and put another power on. But I think this is a really good slot just until you want to go to the Mythic Unique route. In our chest piece, we're doing Binding Morass. Close enemies uh, that I deal indirect damage to are slowed, which is great, and we deal increased damage to slow. Uh, Moonrise, because we are using a basic, so we get a huge amount of stacks for increased attack speed, move speed, and damage. Uh, then we got Interdiction which again, 8% resolve block or 8% block chance per resolve stack. Uh, in our amulet, we're doing redirected force. So gain increased critical strike damage equal to the percentage of our block, which is huge. And then uh, unyielding hits, which is a staple right now uh, going through the season. Casting a gorilla skill increases our weapon damage um, by our armor. So right now our armor is low because we're in world tier four, but once we you know upgrade and everything, that will be much, much better. Also, if we can get a GA amulet with total armor, we can get upwards of 72% um, max armor on a amulet. So we're really looking for one of those. I really do wish that I had one um, that would give that, but unfortunately, I do not. It would be really cool if I had it, but I don't think I have one. No, I don't. Okay, bummer. So that's the gear, guys. Pretty straightforward. Um, Let's go over to Paragon. Again, the link to this build will be down in the description below. So the five runes that we're running is Colossal for increased damage with Gorilla skills. And we gain uh, stacks of uh, increased damage per stacks of Resolve. We got Finesse, or Fitness, excuse me. Increased Critical Strike damage. Skills that Critical Strike give us Vigor back so we stay full. Uh, Fulminate, really good. Uh, we deal increased... Or sorry, wrong one. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Outmatch, uh, increased damage against... Uh, Physical damage against non-deletes when we actually get it to uh, outmatch. Hold on. I'm missing a point. I'm missing a point. Why am I missing a point? We are missing a point, guys. I'm missing a point somewhere. What do I need? Strength? What piece of strength am I? Oh, wait. My, where am I missing strength at? Hold on. Hold on. I think we're here. Yeah, yeah. There we go. 
All right, increased physical damage against non elites. Wow, dude, I always tend to handicap myself. Um, <laughs> uh, spirit, critical strikes, increase the damage the enemy takes from us, which is huge. And then, of course, turf for damage reduction and increased damage to close targets. So uh, pretty straightforward, guys. The legendary uh, nodes that we are doing are Vicious Shield, increased damage uh, for each 3% of max life. We have a barrier, super strong. Um, we are also doing sapping when we cast three of the skills in a row restore 15 percent of our vigor and deal increased damage so strong um then we're going to go grab revealing up to a chance to knock down vulnerable enemies so this is very good combined with our mercenaries to do increased damage against those knockdown targets and then last but not least drive after moving 10 meters we deal increased damage this is very good for not only how fast we are because when we dash on our basic as well as teleporting it makes it super super easy now our mercenaries of choice are is Rahir here. He's a main one. We're just basically doing shield charge into the resistance for, or the increased armor, but more importantly, crater for the knockdown um, and increased damage against those, which I think is pretty sweet. Reinforcement, Verana is so good. We always take Earthbreaker for the knockdown and we're putting it on Scourge. Although you could put this on when you cast any skill in combat, Scourge just seems to be the really good one because Scourge fears them and it makes them go away so if you fear them and then have her knock them down so they can't get away from you you just smash them and they just die which is really really sweet okay guys let's go in and showcase this build really quickly we'll do a 65 torment just to kind of do this and this should be pretty fun man the build is pretty straightforward um it's probably i right now the build is super fast i just hit t4 on this character so um we're probably doing this in like four minutes but the build is the build is really strong and we just teleport just teleport everywhere we got our jaguar and the key to this is like i just hold my right click and that's how i'm easily able to teleport to them which is cool super easy man it's super fun man you just hold it down and just smash it's like playing a monk in Diablo 3. It's, you know what I mean? And because you can, like, you get the dash from a good mile, like, good good point away, like, it's, it's really cool. And you can just teleport. So it's, again, like I said, it's not as fast as, like, pure evade. It is to a degree. Like, it's close, but it's not super, super fast. Oh, God. I'm like tabbing out here but it's really nice and i'll go over the the runes that we have at the end here but yeah it's so cool man i'm not even i'm not even gonna grab the shrine you guys know how we do it we don't grab shrines and stuff in the build guides in the videos just so you guys can see like how awesome the build is by itself because i don't want anybody trolling in the comments like well, War, you picked up a Blast Shrine. That's where all the damage is. Blah, 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 you know? You know how these trolls are out here always moving the goalposts. You know how it is, guys. You, you know how it is. But, man, is this build fun. I almost want to call it the Hulk Smash build because you just, you just smash everything. No need for a Lethal Shrine. We don't need it. Oh, yeah, 51 million. Yep, you just smash everything. Smash it to pieces. Even against the boss, it's really strong. It's just strong against the boss, too. Just destroy it. so fun, man. Like, besides the evade build, like, this is, this is definitely... Definitely, mo like, one of my favorite builds. Like, the mobility in it is so good. Especially with the dashing and then the teleporting. Like, it's so good, man. All right, now it's time to go smash the boss. Let's go destroy the boss real quick. Mother's Judgment. Uh-huh, you thought you could get away, Mother's Judgment. So we do some good damage here, but wait till we CC. And then we really get to do some damage. Bang. Got some Pernish Dolls there because of my Opal, which I think is such a cool feature, by the way. 
and then we'll just level this up. But yeah, guys, that is crushing hand. I will tell you, I've been having an absolute blast with this build. And if if there is any build that you want to play outside of, you know, the evade build, because that's getting nerfed, this is definitely the one for you. So uh, real quick before we go, because I know people are going to freak out. Uh, the runes that we got is Zol and Enigma. So we're basically invoking, when we cast a skill from another class, it gives us our points so that way we can evade, which actually turns into teleport. Which is a big reason why we get become unstoppable and dealing damage, which is awesome. The next ones we have is is Pak Q. So this gives us spend 300% of our maximum resource. And then we get a barrier, which is part of the build. Super powerful. But yeah, guys, that is crushing hand. Like the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Comment. Give me all your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.